Well, hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today you find me back down in London again. Took the high speed train up to St Pancras, but got off at Stratford. And then we made our way on the DLR down to Cross Harbour and currently standing on the banks of Millwall Outer Dock, um, just trying to photograph this building here. I'm not quite sure the name of it. I did look it up earlier and I've now forgotten. Um, but this first shot I've got set up uh, with a 24 to 105, I'm at ISO 100, uh, F11. I'm using a three stop soft grad to bring down the exposure of the sky to match the water. And I'm also using the Lee six stop um, filter, the little stopper, just to extend the photo time. And it's actually given me a shutter speed of 13 seconds. Uh, it has smoothed the water out. It is quite breezy today, and unfortunately, it's kind of taken away from the reflection that I was kind of hoping to get on the water. Um, but yeah, it's not looking too bad on the back of the camera and I'm hoping to do something with it in post. And the plan is really, is just to make my way around the Isle of Dogs and just see what else we can find just on our journey. I've got no, no preconceived ideas of what's here, no thoughts of where I want to be. Um, and we'll just see where we end up come sunset. And when I say we, I'm actually down with a friend uh, Paul from work, he's uh, also a keen photographer. Not yet got his own YouTube channel, but we're gonna try and convince him. But uh, yeah, if you see Paul in the background, he's down with me for the day, just uh, coming around the Isle of Dogs. But yeah, that's the first image in the bag and we'll see where we go from here. Well, we haven't come very far now around uh, Millwall outer dock area and just come across this little area, uh, which looked quite nice with a, a few skyscrapers and what looks to be like a, a floating Chinese restaurant on the, the riverside there, very nice. Um, so what I've done is I've set up, uh, swapped the 24 to 105 out for the 17 to 40 wide angle lens. Um, and I'm still using the 0.3 soft grad and I'm now using the Lee Big Stopper, the 10 stop filter, and it's given me ISO 100 F10 for four minutes, a 240 second exposure. Uh, again, on the back of the camera, looks quite nice. Uh, because it's quite a wide angle lens, you obviously get the converging lines. Um, and I've shot as wide as I can at 17 mil, hoping that when I correct that, um, I'm not gonna lose too much of the, uh, the, the width of the image. But yeah, on the back of the camera, it looks all right. If it's any good, I'll put it up on the screen for you now. Well, we made our way now around from um, Millwall out of dock. How we had a little wander around um, the Isle of Dogs. Uh, stopped off, uh, had a, a cup of coffee and a calf, and we've continued round um, 
kind of the perimeter of the Isle of Dogs round towards. Uh, this way is the O2 uh, in the distance, and we're now within the Blackwall Basin on a footbridge where I've taken a shot from before. I took this shot maybe five or six years ago, um, and I'll pop that up on the screen for you now, just, just for comparison's sake. I'm at the same location, at the same spot, looking towards Canary Wharf, and there are so many more structures been built since the last time I've come. And they've actually started a build, which I assume are two lift shafts for two new buildings uh, in front of Canary Wharf, which from this perspective is actually now throwing the image off. It doesn't look balanced because the uh, Canary Wharf building itself doesn't look central to those two columns. So I think what I'm gonna to have to do is move further to the left-hand side of this footbridge in order to make the peak of Canary Wharf centered within those columns, just to make the image look balanced. But what I'll do is I'll, like I say, I'll throw the, the image I took up previously. I'm gonna take a shot now from the same spot to show you what it looks like unbalanced. And then I think we're probably 40 minutes or so away from from sunset and when the, the light starts to fade, hopefully the, the lights in the city will come on and I'll take another image from uh, further left just to try and balance the image up and see how it compares to the one I took a few years ago. Well, that uh, evening's gone quite quick. Uh, once the sun set and the ambient light dropped, uh, the Canary Wharf skyline has lit up uh, and you can see the reflections uh, in the, I think we're at Blackwall Basin. Um, unfortunately, there is a little bit of wind, so there is a little bit of ripple on the water and there's quite a few ducks in there, which also make the water ripple when they're splashing around. Um, yeah, I met another, another keen amateur photographer so we chatted for quite a while and I've managed to take several images of the the skyline here and just to see how they compare to to like I say that image that I took a few years back but um, yeah it's been a nice relaxing day um, had a nice day with Paul had a walk around a chat um, a catch up because we haven't been out for a while um, taken a few images that have turned out not too bad hopefully these ones here at uh, Blackwall Basin have turned out okay but I think we're off now just to maybe grab a coffee, a bite to eat even, and uh, make our way back home. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Uh, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, take care and see you soon. Cheers, Em.